Okay, what you do is basically go to the Dragon OS Pi 64 website. Um, you download the image. You use the image writer, the Raspberry Pi image writer. You burn it to an SD, a micro SD card. Uh, put it in the back of your your Pi, basically, and then set it up. And once you've done that, you boot it up. You log it in with the standard passwords. Uh, you basically show on this screen and this is basically an operating system Ubuntu but it's, it's been loaded with the uh, SDR stuff so this stuff is normally all, uh, already loaded in for you you get some stuff like that I added Jupyter notes but um, most of this stuff is already already preloaded for you and works out of the box you can just plug in the hacker F or an RTL dongle and some of the other SDR stuff and it works straight away which is pretty good uh, I showed you in the last video the Quantum, uh, the Q Spectrum Analyzer which is pretty good and other software as well, the Cubic SDR uh, as you see you, you get most stuff for, on here uh, it's all set up pretty nice so, so today what we're going to show is this one here the Hack RF Spectrum Analyzer so what you do is just run that pum, pum, pum. and then you type ls which is just get the directory up what you got to do here is put a dot dash backdash like that and what you want to do is run this file so if you just copy that you can type it out but it's easy just to copy it like that uh, And if you just press enter, bum bum bum, fingers crossed it'll boot up and you get the spectrum analyzer here. That's doing the, if you look up here, it's doing the uh, 2400 megahertz to 2500 megahertz, which is basically Wi Fi. I think it'll give that a bit of a boost. Um, and another thing I quite like doing is like showing the peaks. This makes it a lot easier when, when to know where the signals are. You can make that go quicker or shorter. Maybe a bit shorter than sometimes. You need to see where the activity is. Um, not be too fast with it on. And also I like to down down here, which is quite good. Frequency allocation bands which shows up here and obviously down here as well. But um, I don't really use that as a like a rough guide. You still have to probably use the internet and check up exactly what is supposed to be transmitting in, in that band. And there we go. But what you can do is pause it yeah, put that up to there take that down so that's one megahertz and we'll do from one megahertz to six gigahertz which is like the what the hacker F can do zoom now what we're doing here is actually uh, doing a spectrum anal analyzing the whole six gigahertz basically and you can see where there's like peaks and activity going on here that's like mobile phone I think yeah there's quite a lot of activity down here what's that you can just go along here really so you get like a waterfall display generally it's pretty slow when you do that so again do uh, one two two hundred and then and try that that's quite quite a busy bit here quite a lot here Let's 
so. So that's where it'll get to find areas of activity in the spectrum and have a, like a rough idea the allocation of what it's doing the frequency allocation oh, that's got, what's that's there? 5.2, oh, that's pager on it what's that one there? ok so I thought it'd be interesting to show you how Dragon OS especially good for like it on the Pi as I say, you just have to burn the image onto an SD card, pop it in, and you've got a full SDR working space. And I think also you get one for the for like a, a PC or a laptop. So if you've got an old PC or laptop, you can load in the, the Dragon OS on that. So thanks for that, and uh, hope you enjoyed it.